Well, our winner for some of the best weather in the country today, Tuesday, was the state of Utah. Record high temperature set in Salt Lake City of 56 degrees. Some of the worst weather in the country, got to be the state of North Carolina. Boy, the rain was coming down hard in the right along the coast here near Barco, North Carolina. Outer Banks, very windy and rainy. Back into Charlotte, Raleigh, Durham, and Rocky Mount. But back in the mountains, it looked like this. Very heavy snow, blowing rock, North Carolina. Roads are out here tonight, up into eastern Tennessee. It's almost impossible to get around. Green count Z chain sold here. I'll bet this guy really picked up some loot here. Absolutely getting up some of these mountains here in North Carolina on 421 or I-26 north of Asheville. Virtually impossible. There's the storm. There's low pressure centered right here. And there's the moisture coming right on in. And as that rises from sea level into the mountains, two, three, four thousand feet, that air is cooling and moisture is condensing out as if we need any help from orographics. It is really a storm, at least locally, it's a storm right here in the mountains. Greene County, Tennessee, a report of two and a half feet of snow. That was as of 11 o'clock Eastern time. Two and a half feet of snow at some of the higher elevations in Greene County in East Tennessee. And here in the Tri-Cities, well, that's be Kingston and into Bristol, Tennessee and Bristol, Virginia, which are twin cities right across the border right up here. Power is out to thousands of people. Travel is... Don't even bother traveling, as a matter of fact. There's the storm, there's the moisture. Still getting back in here. The snow's lightened up in Asheville, North Carolina, but up here toward Boone, we've got about a foot and a half of snow. Skiers are going to love this, provided they can get there. A lot of people stranded, I'm certain, out here on the highway. State Patrol's been very, very active. If you don't have to do any traveling between now and at least sunrise, don't, because we've got probably locally states of emergency here. This has been heavy rain on the east side of it, Barco, North Carolina, the video you just saw. Barco would be right over there. Norfolk is right here. We've had our share of some very heavy rain and winds gusting to 50 miles an hour. So this is a storm that really bears watching with the mountain snows. No snow for you in Philly, no snow in New York City either. Uh, some light snow moving into the Catskills and maybe a mixed bag of freezing rain and some snow back here in the western end of the Mass Pike, say from Springfield westward to uh, Rensselaer County here in New York. And around Hartford, it could get icy here on Wednesday morning. We'll keep a close tab on that. Then in the afternoon, some snow could develop in southern New England. It's going to be very close. Very windy. Coastal flood warnings are in effect. We've got a new moon out there. That means tides are high anyhow. And at times of high tide on Wednesday and Thursday, some overwash could occur on some highways. Well, Highway 12 here in the Outer Banks, at least while the winds are on shore for the next six hours or so. And then further up on the Delmarva Peninsula into South Jersey, there could be some coastal flooding. Times of high tide, once again, that's uh, what, twice a day we have high tide. So there's our little storm. Mm. Good news for us here in upstate New York and northern New England. It does not appear as if this is going to give us any more fits with any ice or any kind of power outages. The storm and the northeast to northwest winds and the clouds, rain and snow kept the temperature down, that's for sure. On Tuesday, high temperature in Atlanta, a meager 45 degrees, while it was 54 here in Rapid City, South Dakota. And not too far south, there were some record highs t on Tuesday. Hill City and Salina, Kansas, Hastings at 58. Salt Lake City at 56 degrees. There is some stormy weather for the west coast, but most of it is out over the open waters. There is a high wind warning for Juneau, Alaska, but eventually some of this moisture is going to get in here. Watch out for the fog in the morning. Detroit, Findlay, Toledo, Indianapolis, Springfield, Chicago, St. Louis, Des Moines, and Minneapolis. Milwaukee, too. There could be some delays out there at the airports. Here's our storm. Here's the cold air. Fortunately, the coldest air and the moisture will not join forces. This area of low pressure will move east. This one will scoot out, but on the back edge of it, there's going to be a little bit of snow. Maybe ending up as a few snow flurries here in New York City on Wednesday evening, but no accumulation is expected. 
aside from that very light here and very light in there. Speaking of light, we've got your forecast and there's plenty of sunlight in it, at least for most of us. Here's the rest of the week. Thank mm -hmm. you.